I'm Dr. Emily Grossman. Welcome to Cinema Science, the show that looks at those unbelievable silver screen situations and wonders, could that really happen? This week, we're looking at that classic killer of cowboys, quicksand. So, do the movies get it right in their depiction of the grainy ground gravy, or do these sandy situations drown in a sea of bad science? If you're a film aficionado, you'll have probably come across a familiar scene. A person up to their waist in quicksand, slowly sinking, while passers-by watch on, unable to help. The more they struggle, the faster they drown, until there's nothing left but their hat. But if it's that dangerous, why don't we hear about more people meeting their demise from this granular ground? If you believe Hollywood, it's a pretty regular occurrence. In reality, quicksand can form whenever there is fine granular material, such as sand or silt, saturated with water. With the right balance of sand and water, the sand becomes suspended in the water, reducing the friction between the grains and producing a colloid. If you find yourself stepping on a deep, sandy substance, you would start to sink. The weight of your feet would displace the sand in the water before creating a vacuum around your legs, making it extremely difficult to free yourself. This is where the movies go off science, though. The average density of the human body is around 1.2 grams per milliliter, while quicksand is denser at around 2 grams per milliliter. Now, good old Archimedes taught us that floating objects can only displace their own weight. So since humans are less dense than quicksand, there's absolutely no way that we could ever get sucked completely under. At worst, you'll go about as deep as your waist. So any film that shows victims drowning in quicksand pretty much gets it wrong. That's not to say it's not dangerous stuff, though. If you fall into quicksand and panic, kicking your legs and flailing your arms around, you could create a vacuum around yourself and get yourself well and truly stuck. One study showed that in some instances, you would need 100,000 newtons of force. That's the force needed to lift a medium-sized car to pull your leg free. With this kind of suction keeping people stuck, there have been some stories where exposure or incoming tides have killed people who found themselves sunk in sand. Not good. If you do find yourself stuck in quicksand, just chill. Lie back to increase your surface area, wriggle your legs round a little to allow water to seep in, which will help the sand to loosen, and eventually you'll just float to the surface. Basically, do everything differently to this dastardly villain from the live-action Jungle Book. Do any films get it right? 2004's Hildalgo shows a character falling off his horse and landing in quicksand, where he stays stuck until he's rescued later on. It does show that the real danger of quicksand is getting stuck and not drowning. So we'll give it a cinema science pass. Do you have any favourite quicksand scenes to share? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit subscribe for some more great science from BritLab.